In this video, I'm going to talk about the question, are you too nice? If you feel like you've ever been stepped on, that people are using you, maybe you're being nice to somebody and they abuse that, this video, this live stream is definitely for you. But before we jump into it, welcome to the Person Talks with Manuel. In this community, we will be talking about depression, anxiety, and low self-esteem. So hit that subscribe button because I promise you, you are not alone. And every single Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern, we do these live streams so that way, if you ever feel alone, you feel like you need somebody to talk to, then you at least have this guy right here and others in this community. So welcome to DT Nation. Now, I want to, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to start off by saying, um, you know, there's been things happening in my life that I've been realizing that I'm being too nice. And something else happened again this weekend where, you know, somebody brought to my attention that I am simply probably being too nice. I'm allowing myself to get stepped on. I'm allowing other people to, you know, abuse how nice I am, etc. So that's how I came about this uh being too nice situation. All right, let's check this on the live stream before we jump into it. We got Anthony. How are you doing, Anthony? Welcome to the live stream, buddy. Uh, we got Everest. Hey, how are you doing? It's really good to see you in the live stream. It your girl. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, it's great to see you here on this Sunday on Father's Day. I know that a lot of people may not turn out during this live stream because it is Father's Day. Um, so shout out to all the fathers out there, especially my father because he's a beast. He's really awesome. Uh, but I still want to make sure I do a live stream for you guys to make sure you know that you're not alone and that we still stay consistent around here. The official Addy Ray, what's up? Welcome to the live stream. Okay, so I'm going to share with you three different points that I hope that you really, really uh, take in so that way you know and question, are you being too nice? So the first way to... Uh, notice that you're being too nice is don't let others use you. I'll say that again. Don't let others use you. Um, if you find yourself in a situation where somebody's maybe asking you uh, to do something for them, but they show no respect or they show, how do I put this? You do something very nice for somebody and then they don't, they disregard it. They don't say thank you. Uh, they constantly ask you for somebody over and over again to do stuff for them, but they never do stuff for you. Don't let somebody use you. Um, there's nothing wrong with being nice, but if somebody's consistently asking you to do something for them and not doing anything for you, you are being used, in my opinion. You are being um, like just an object that's being used just to help the other person out, being completely selfless. That person's being very selfish. I just went to church today and we actually went over being selfless and being selfish. But um, but yeah, make sure that you're looking at the situation saying, is this person using me? That will help you a lot. Can you be too nice in a relationship? Yes, you can be too nice in friendships, relationships, romantic relationships. Um, you know, you can be too nice in any type of relationship. The second one is understanding. Know yourself worth. Ooh. This is something that I am still working on and that I'm struggling with a little bit. Um, know your self-worth. Know what your value is. I am uh, realizing that I tend to be too nice, that I let people step on me. I let people... I feel like I have to be nice because if I'm not nice with somebody, then they're going to treat me a certain way or view me a certain way. That's not the case. If you're too nice, understand that you, <laughs> understand your self-worth, understand that you are valuable, that you, since you're such a nice person, you have a high price to who you are as a person, who you are in terms of your personality, in terms of your character, in terms of, of your charisma. So know your self-worth. Don't let anybody else abuse how much your self-worth is. Nobody, nobody. <laughs> and I gotta say that to myself. Uh, how you doing, Kevin? Welcome to the live stream. Kameen says, today's Father's Day and I feel extremely low. And me and my aunt's been talking and some people think my depression is just for attention. We're going to get into questions. We're going to get into all that stuff after I share this last point because during these live streams, you know that you can ask me any question and talk to me about anything. But first, let me make sure I share these three points with you so that way you can really look at, are you being too nice? Uh, I've been feeling sometimes down. I feel you. I feel you, Emmanuel. I feel how you feel. Exactly. All right. So the last point that I want to share with you is understanding it is okay to say no. 
it is okay to say no. I, I feel like sometimes I'm talking to myself when I, when I am doing these live streams because I say yes to so many things. Um, you know, one of, my, one of my people that I hang out with or I talk to basically asked me um, a question about like their relationship or potentially doing something with somebody else and, and we have a history and all that stuff. And basically it was just like, I should have just said no. I should have just said, no, I'm not, I'm not going to do that for you. I'm not going to do that for you. I refuse to do that for you. Um, you know that this situation is going to be hurting me, so why would I still allow myself to say yes when I should be saying no? So what situations are you putting yourself in where you should have said no? You should have said, no, I'm not going to do that for you. I know why, again, we're being too nice, we're being too open, too vulnerable, we're allowing ourselves to be used by somebody else. So again, I cannot stress this enough, it is okay to say no. So if you just joined this live stream, we have 15 awesome people in this live stream. Um, the three quick points were, don't let others use you, um, know your self-worth, and the last one is, it's okay to say no. I feel like a lot of people can relate to what I'm saying because I'm seeing Dante says, I'm way too nice. Everyone takes advantage of me. Sorry for all the caps. No worries about all the caps. Um, I feel you on that. All, all, all of this I need to work on. We all are constantly working on ourselves. So Addy, it's completely okay. We're all working on something. Ever says, it's hard for me to say no to a lot of things. I know it's kind of a problem, but yeah. And that's why we're doing this live stream and talking about this. We can't be too nice and allow ourselves to be abused by other people. This is right on time. Thank you for sharing. I hate being a people pleaser for too long. For too long. Okay, so everybody comment down below. Are you a people pleaser? Because I would raise my hand and say yes. I tend to be a people pleaser. Um, you know, the older I get, the more I learn that I should not be that way. But comment down below. Are you a people pleaser? Would you say that you are? Kevin says, I deleted IG because I felt anxious of people putting IG stories, especially my friends, and I get sensitive. I get anxious. I know people post things to show the good sides, only focus on myself. Um, I completely understand why you would delete your IG for that reason. I think that's a good reason. Um, only a few minutes, and I know, f and I know, feel you, and I am feel you, feeling used by my friends, family, and boyfriend who later broke up with me because of my anxiety and depression. It your girl, I'm telling you right now, if you're ever in a relationship and somebody does not accept you for your men mental health, it's not a healthy relationship to be in in the first place. So I am glad that you are no longer in that situation. I'm sorry, Chloe, to hear about your bird. I really am. So I asked the question, raise your hand or comment down below if you are a people pleaser. And we have Kevin, so people pleaser, official Addy Ray is. Shalisa says yes. Fighting depression says I'm trying to stop. Uh, Nikki says, I used to be one then when I got deeply hurt by someone, I trusted I cut that all out. I don't take people's crap anymore. Yes, do not take people's crap anymore. <laughs> I like it, I like it. Anthony says, me, he's raising his hand. Um, Ever says, I'm a major people pleaser. Wait, I spelled that right? I think you did spell that right. And White also raised his hand. So this is something that all of us tend to struggle with at some point in our lives, whether it be in a romantic relationship, it could be in your friendships with your best friend, it could be with your family. Um, I raise my hand to all three of those situations. Being a people pleaser does not allow you to grow as a person. I'm gonna say that one more time, man. Being a people pleaser does not allow you to grow as a person. You are constantly allowing yourself, uh-oh, Somebody's calling me. Uh, you are constantly allowing yourself to be used by somebody, to not appreciate you for who you really are. You're this awesome, kind, loving person, aren't you, right? You're this really outgoing, maybe not outgoing, but you're this really warm light in this world. Don't let somebody abuse your light. All right. Let's see here. I'm coming out to my dad today. My parents are separated. I am really proud of you for coming out. Do you be yourself and allow yourself to just be comfortable in your own skin. That's awesome. Chloe says, I don't take crap from anyone, especially my terrible stepdad. <laughs> hey, that's good. 
everybody comment down below um that was like the lesson for today it took i try to do it within 10 minutes because sometimes people join the live streams late we have 17 people on the live stream that's a lot more than I thought. That's amazing. Um, but comment down below any questions that you have in terms of your own life because this is this is the part of the live stream where I answer your questions. Uh, we can talk about any subject because now the lesson, the life coaching lesson is over. By the way, if you while you're commenting your questions for me, uh, if you are dealing with depression and you feel like you can't live life to the fullest, you feel like you're held back, you don't have much self-esteem, much confidence, and you feel like you just want to change your life, I am a depression and mindset coach. Email me at emmanueljones at outlook.com and we can start sessions right away. Emmanueljones at outlook.com. When I was in art class, this one dude told me to sharpen his color pencils. He would just always tell me to sharpen his pencils. I felt bad if I didn't. That's called being too nice. That person can what, sharpen their own pencils? And if, he, if you say no, because it's okay to say no, that person can't judge you for it. White Dove says, it's like people can read you. Some people are givers and some people are takers. If you are a giver, you have to realize that not everyone is going to rip, rip, reciprocate. Excuse me. So yes, I agree with that. Some people aren't going to reciprocate what you're trying to do. So with those people, and I'm not saying to cut people out of your life. I'm simply saying be more aware of persons that are take, people that are takers. Anthony says, hurt people, hurt people. <laughs> Perfectly said. Perfectly said. I could not agree more to that. Uh, Kimmy says, there's a girl I was talking to who was depressed and I stayed up until 11 p.m. and talked to her, but she did me dirty and insulted and treated me like dirt, so I had to leave. And still texted her when I had to leave. One big warming text. There's so many situations that I could give and you could give about when we were used by somebody. That's why I wanted to stress this point today. Um, you know, are you being too nice? Are you being too nice? I'm super depressed because I'm literally smoking weed all the time. Um, so, <laughs> man, that just reminds me like, you know, I am a recovering alcoholic and I say that openly and vulnerable because, you know, all of us may have addictions that we do, the way, ways that we cope. And I'm going to tell you, you know, each time I drink, you know, I do become more depressed because it is a depressant. But, you know, when it comes to smoking weed and things like that, you're not alone. You are not alone. Okay. Fight Depression says, a people pleaser was not born this way. It was the past that affected and forced a person to become a people's pleaser. Maybe he, she had depressed father who's around it, cannot show its feelings. There could be tons of reasons why somebody's a people pleaser. Um, I think I am a people pleaser because, you know, when I was younger, I always wanted to be accepted by somebody else, anybody else, because I, I didn't fit into a lot of social groups. Um, so that's how I became a people pleaser, but everybody's story is different. I'm trying to catch up to everybody's comment. Kevin says, I remember one time a guy in high school told me to always clean the mess in construction class in high school and I was taken advantage of and I was too nice and they told me to tell him to stop and I did. He never spoke to me again. That's awesome. It's awesome that he never spoke to you again because why would you want somebody like that in your life? I wouldn't want somebody like that in my life. So I stopped cutting and kind of stopped self-harm. Two months clean. Yay! Woo! Hey, we out here. We out here. Hey, we out here, homie. We out here. I'm so happy to hear that. That's amazing. Uh, but the urges still haven't stopped, and I'm scared I'll go back to cutting. I don't know. I do not know what. I do not know what to do about it. Okay, so I'm gonna try to say this as quickly as possible. First off, congratulations on two months. That is amazing. Second of all. Uh, when I went to like an AA group for my alcoholism, there's this guy that was like 10 years sober. And he said, it's not that the craving ever goes away. It's your response to that craving that is gets stronger. It's not that you're craving for alcohol or cutting or addictions or things like that. It's going to go away after 10 years. Of course, you're going to think about it. But your reaction to that craving is what helps you stay away. So I cannot stress this enough. I'm proud of you for two months. Just remember that it's not necessarily going to go away, but it's going to get shorter and smaller. And that, that craving, that craving, you're going to be able to react to it stronger and stronger and stronger. So continue to stay strong. You got this. How should I come out to my dad? My parents say, parents may be getting separated. Uh, so Addy Ray, I am, I'm straight. And I, so I can't talk about how to come out. Um, but I would, you know, 
I can't even talk about that standpoint because I, I never had to experience that and I never had to hang around other people that experienced that. Um, but what I will say is I feel like you got to be comfortable in your own skin and who you are. So just be honest, be vulnerable and do your best to just say exactly what's on your heart. That's, that's what I would, would say to that situation. Blue and gotcha, what is up? I'm glad you're in the live stream. Uh, Zamir says, but if you don't comply, you are labeled as selfish. I hate this cycle. Yeah, but who you are is not defined by somebody else. I need to have like a, a gong or something. Who you are is not defined by somebody else. It's who you define yourself as. They can label you as a hater. They can label you as selfish. They can label you as anything. I've been called names. I've been made fun of. I've been called Oreo and, and, and all these different names. But who I say I am, excuse me, who I say I am is more important than what somebody else says about you. Uh, Anthony says, me being nice, leave people taking advantage of me or people wouldn't want anything to do with me. T good. Anybody that uses you, why would you want them in your life? I wouldn't want somebody that uses me in my life. So I'm hoping that you feel the same way. I still coping with my dad's death. Chloe, ah, oh man, you know, I'm sorry to hear about your loss and please understand that you are not alone. Um, it's Father's Day is hard for a lot of people that don't have fathers. Maybe their father's not as you know emotionally or physically there uh, maybe they've passed so you're definitely not alone in how you feel i have a friend of mine you know and and i'm going to call him after this because you know he lost his father and i was so close to his father so you know today's gonna be a hard day for some people a great day for some people but all of us are not alone what's the 21 pilots being diesel tour it was emotional and great and i'm so jealous <laughs> i am so jealous i am definitely a fan of 21 pilots Everybody comment down below your top three favorite bands or your top three favorite musical artists. Um, top three, okay? I'll say mine after I read yours. My parents already know I'm lesbian, but my crappy stepdad likes to hit me saying, ooh, sin. Hmm, <laughs> you're not alone in that. Blue and Gotcha says, it may be hard to express it to your parents. I didn't even express it to my parents. My friends did. But whenever my parents found out, it got better. So just be brave and you will get through it. Hey, yes. Yes. I love it. You will get through it. No matter what you're going through, it's only temporary. No matter what you're going through, it is only temporary. It's not going to last forever. It's not. All right, let's see here. So I asked you what your three favorite musical artists are, and I'm so curious. So make sure you're commenting down below so I can read yours out loud, okay? Blue and Gotcha says, Nico Collins. Uh, have I heard of him or her or the band? I don't think so. Billie Eilish. I like the song um, Bury a Friend because of the lyrics and the song and the sound is so nice. Uh, AJR, nice. I'm an AJR fan myself. I'm going to see them this September or something like that. Dante says XXX Tentacion, Role Model, and Jumix, or Jumix. I haven't heard of them before, but that sounds cool. I know what XXX is. And Kevin says BGs, Queen, The Beatles, and Michael Jackson. I know it's four, but I love the four. <laughs> nice, man. Nice. Inactive Imaginations, welcome to the live stream. So, I've already shared with you, if, if you didn't hear the points before, I've already shared with you... Um, there's a fly. Okay. I've already shared with you, you know, the three points and uh, about being too nice. I don't want to like reiterate every single thing, but sometimes people join the live streams late. And, um, you know, so again, if you find it, if you think that you are being too nice, if you think you're being used by somebody, understand these three things. I'll reiterate them really quick uh, because a lot of people are new in this live stream now. It's 17 people in the live stream. That's crazy. That's crazy. Smash that like button if you're enjoying it. I gotta say it. Smash that like button if you're enjoying it and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to DT Nation. Uh, but the three points I'll quickly share is it's okay to say no. It's completely okay to say no to somebody that's asking you to do something. Say no. Say no. The second point is that understand your self-worth. Know your self-worth. You are amazing just the way you are. You are a light in this world, so don't let anybody try to darken that light. Understand your self-worth. And the last one was don't let others use you. 
do not let others use you. Oh my gosh, I have been used before. I have been, you know, pushed to the side before. I've helped somebody. So understand those three things and that will help you assess whether or not you're being too nice or not. My hey, how you doing, Sh Shivanji? How you doing? Uh, my therapist is going to talk to my mom and I'm nervous but ready at the same time, but I'm scared she might take me to the crisis crap. Didn't mean to call crisis crap, but I'm scared. Uh, Kameen, to your point, I was, last December, I was admitted into the hospital, into the psychiatric ward. And, um, you know, did I want to go? No. Did I need to go? Yes. So any way or any uh, direction or path to bettering your mental health, do it. I was scared. It's okay to be scared. It's okay to be nervous, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. So make sure that you're taking care of your mental health any way that you need to. Even if that means going to psychiatric ward like I did, there's nothing wrong. I don't feel shameful for doing it. I don't feel bad for going through it because I know I have bipolar depression now. I'm on medication that's making me feel better and my whole life changed because of it. Fight depression, thumbs up, I like it. Justin, it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to everybody. Happy Father's Day. If you have a child, happy Father's Day. Uh, I got to feed my cat, Bongo. See you, see you buddy. Uh, and, oh, I forgot. I forgot. Oh, my gosh. I do this every live stream. Comment down below on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being I'm extremely happy. 1 being I'm extremely depressed. Where are you on that scale today? 10 being I'm extremely happy. 1 being I'm extremely depressed. Where are you on that scale today? My mom was going to take me to see a therapist or something in August to see if I can get help. I'm still scared. Yes, that's awesome. That is awesome. I'm so happy to hear that. I really am happy to hear that. That's great. Blue and Gotcha says, my friend was used by somebody before because she was being too nice. But I stopped her from being used. I was used too, but I stopped it. It sucks being used. It sucks, but you stopped it, and I'm so happy to hear that. Yes. Justin says, know your worth. It's okay to be nice, but don't get taken advantage of. Yes. Justin said it perfectly. All right, so earlier I asked how you guys are doing. I will share with you how I'm doing after this. We're already 22 minutes into this live stream. That's crazy. I like it, I like it. All right, Dante is a nine. Ooh, Chloe is a two. You're not alone, Chloe, I'm telling you, man. Me and others in this community are here for you. Uh, Ke uh, Kevin says a seven. Kameem says four. Fight Depression says three. I'm a two on that scale. I'm feeling like at a one, but I'm not really showing it, huh? Hey, sometimes it's easier not to show how we feel. I just meditated so my mood is honestly like chill. So I would say a five like always, okay. Kameen says actually a three. I have depression and I got and I couldn't study. I got 8%. Now I'm getting admission in college I want. Hey, that's congratulations. Uh, I'm conquering my field of social anxiety by doing rejection therapy. Not afraid of rejection. What's the worst that can happen? I did difficult approaches to people. Good. That's awesome. I would say today for me, it's weird. Like there's some things that are on my mind that aren't good. Um, I don't know. There's a there's there's not a lot going on in my life, but it's it's there's like one or two things that I'm feeling down about. So I would say I'm a six out of 10. Uh, maybe that's low, but I gotta be honest, you know, probably like a six, seven out of 10 maybe. I'm working on some, a few of these things, not being used by somebody else. That's a big one that I'm working on right now. Now I'm not getting admission in the college I want. Fight depression. Hey, don't give up. I have, I've had friends that weren't admitted to colleges and then they got admitted to a, another college. So no worries, just keep trying. And Active says, I hope everyone is, is okay. Feel free to talk to me if you need to. Nice. Justin says, the negative emotion sounds past, shall pass. Yes. Uh, I know, I know what to play you. Nice. Uh, Tomcat says, hello, what's up? I'm catching up to everybody's comments, I'm sorry. Yes, Justin, I agree with you, man. Feelings are definitely temporary. Dante says, I'm trying to stay positive, but I'm really nervous for this coming year in school. In, lift, in my lifting class, I had no friends. I want to switch classes. Honestly, I dread the feeling of being alone. So, Dante, uh, 
So many people feel alone. So many people feel alone. There's, it's okay, it's okay. But like I live by myself. I feel alone sometimes, you know? I feel alone sometimes. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with loneliness. It's what you do about that that changes. So for me, I'm a, it gives me an opportunity to do these live streams. It get, being alone gives me more time to work towards my goals. Uh, being in class alone helps me focus on what I need to focus on, the class. So, you know, also, it, you got to be open. You got to be open to meeting new people. You got to be open to possibly the possibility of making new friends. There's nothing wrong with being alone. It's how what you do during that loneliness that counts. I have a debt of like $200, so that sucks. I have a debt of like thousands of dollars, so it's all perspective. There was a lot going on inside my head today and all this week. Hey, I feel you, Blue and Gotcha. Justin says two hundred dollars is better than thousands. Exactly. Um, gonna call my gonna call for therapy tomorrow to help with my social anxiety and someone to talk to about my mental health and finding my passion. Everybody, comment down below and say "awesome job, Kevin." Comment down below and say "awesome job, Kevin." Okay, that's amazing. Uh, that's just the first one. I got my dealer like 500 times. Nice. Um, hey, I feel like a loser. I am not getting anywhere with my YouTube channel. I am not getting admission. I don't want to feel this way. What should I do? So one, I'm not a professional, okay? I'm not a professional. Uh, first, I'll suggest talking to a professional therapist or counselor. Second thing is who you are is not defined by your YouTube channel. Who you are is not, the, I had to learn that the hard way. Who you are is not defined by your YouTube channel. You are not valued by your likes. You're not valued by your views. You're not valued by what videos you put out. You are valued by other things, not your YouTube channel, okay? If it doesn't grow, if it doesn't, you know, I'm not saying it doesn't stink, but I'm saying who you are as a person, how strong you are, how weak you are, how awesome you are, is not defined by your YouTube channel. As a YouTuber, I'm trying to really stress that fact, okay? Hey, everybody saying awesome job, Kevin. Yes. Yes. Zamir says, recently I realized I have never had an identity because I always pleasing uh, people and put others, even strangers, before me. But in that process, I forgot to learn, I forgot to learn about myself and now I don't know who I am. Dude, you're a blank canvas. What I mean by that is you don't know who you are. Isn't it exciting to be able to find who you are? You know? I'm talking to you, buddy. <laughs> Isn't it awesome to try to find who you are? It can be stressful, but you're a blank canvas. Now you can start over and start work right here. You're right here. There's nothing wrong with being right here. Nothing wrong with that at all. It's all perspective, y'all. Like, like, like. Every single thing in your life can be good or bad based upon your perspective. This weekend, I hung out with some awesome people, and you know, if I stayed in my old ways and didn't allow myself to be vulnerable, then I wouldn't have met these new people. So now you're in a blank space, you have a blank canvas to work on, it's okay. Be vulnerable and try to learn more about who you are. I agree, excuse me. Uh, I'm in a band and music does something and I don't and I know I can make it. Hey, good, exactly. Music is your outlet. Uh, comment down below. I love doing these comments. I love reading your comments. You know, comment down below. How do you cope with your depression? How do you cope with your depression or anxiety or any type of mental illness? How do you cope? I act differently than who I want to be too. Hey, you're not alone. I, 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 I definitely feel that. You can, you can, bro, keep chasing your dreams. Exactly. But maybe there are better decisions that can be made. Guys, I'm talking. Blue and Gosh says, I want to open up. I want to act a certain way, but I don't act a certain way. I don't open up. I'm not, see, like, a lot of people, maybe I should stress this enough. I'm not saying it's going to happen just like that. It's a process. It takes time. I was talking to my friend Anthony, and he was like, you know, it takes time to get to that point where you're open and vulnerable. It's not going to happen overnight. So just start by small steps at a time. Small steps add up to big results. How do you have the courage to meet new people? I, okay, listen. <laughs> 
it looks like maybe it looks like I'm an outgoing I am an outgoing person but it's still hard to get out of my comfort zone I'm comfortable being at home being depressed and staying by myself that's where my comfort spot is I force myself man I just do I'm like I'm gonna go and then if it's not okay I'll leave you can always go back to your comfort zone you can always go back to your comfort zone so understand that no matter if you put yourself out there you can always go back you can always come back and that's what, and I'm not saying that's okay or it's you know right or wrong but if you're trying to open yourself and meet new people go and then if you don't like it go back to your own comfort zone we've had this 30 minutes wow so I asked you, how do you cope with your depression? Weed, I cope with weed. I cope mostly, uh, so weed's one of them. Uh, I cope mostly with listening to music, talking to people online, playing games online. That's actually very healthy coping. I, I think that's awesome. Zamir says weed, weed as well. Yeah, a lot of people turn to weed or alcohol. Um, that's my like go-to, if you will. Um, you know, so I'm working on it. I asked that question because I'm not perfect. I struggle with things too, and it's okay. I often let people take advantage of me, and I don't say anything, and I can never say no. You said you can never say no, but you can say no. You can say no. Maybe you're afraid of, like, they won't be in your life anymore. Well, good riddance, good riddance to them. They're taking advantage of you. Why would you want to have someone in your life that's taking advantage of you? Let's see. I don't care what anyone says. Blink-182 is one of the best ways to cope for me. And then again, I'm weird. So that's, I think Blink-182 is an awesome band. Anthony said, Anthony's still in here, man. We've been at this 30 minutes strong, bro. <laughs> Usually these live streams on Sundays last like an hour, an hour and a half. So I'm here as long as y'all need me to be. Yeah. I don't care what anyone says. Blink yeah, Blink-182 is amazing. Kevin says, how do you meet new people? Uh, so there's an app called Meetup. Download that. Go to go to the app store and download an app called Meetup. Uh, you can find out different events that are happening in your location. Let's see here. There's church for some people. You know there is like as an adult. So I'm you know I'm 26. So as an adult, uh, the way I meet people is just trying to do activities that I would do by myself. Like I might go rock climbing by myself. I might meet people there. I will go play soccer at the meetup groups, the meetup app I'm talking about. Um, you know, I will, you know, I work out. How I met Anthony was working out. I love working out. So I did it regardless of meeting new people or not. And that's how I met Anthony. So do activities that you already enjoy doing. Go to activities where you would always want to go. Go to the movies by yourself. Go eat by yourself. Do Treat yourself out as if you're dating yourself. There's nothing wrong at all with doing things you love by yourself. Do that. You might meet people that way. Sometimes we must be uncomfortable to get comfortable. Yeah, that's true. God says, Emmanuel, I have a question. Should I face my anxiety and stay in lifting class or should I switch classes? I, I, I'm not in control of your life. I'm, I, you know, I'm, very, I'm very scared of... Like, I don't want to be like the decision maker in people's lives because I get people DM, DMing me on Instagram, sending me emails, um, you know, all the time, very constant. And I don't want to be like the person that's like, okay, do this. Don't do this. That's, I've never been that person. Um, what I try to do is look at, the, look at your situation objectively and say, well, what is going to be in your best interest? What's going to allow you to grow the most? Don't, so my opinion... Um, don't change classes. If you enjoy lifting class, stay in the lifting class. F face your fear. Stay in that class. You might you'll grow from it. This will be a growing experience. You're doing great. Getting out of your comfort zone, Emmanuel. Thank you, Anthony. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Uh, do what works for you. Yes. I think I might go play basketball today. There you go. That's what I like to hear. Look at that. People are taking action and bettering their mental health. I love it. Listen to NF for the realest rap ever. Yes. Listen to NF. That dude, man, he can rap, but he te he keeps it real. Lil Gossip says, you guys can also write out your feelings if you struggle, uh, if struggle is talking, or if you have a kind of anxiety that makes it so you can't talk a full sentence without making a mistake or stuttering. Trust me, it helps. That does help. Carter Nolan, what's up? Welcome to the live stream. Camille says, I used to jog four miles in Philadelphia to reach their famous art museum that Rocky ran 
and it felt powerful and I want to do it again feeling my hometown. Go running. Go exercise. Get out of your comfort zone. Let's go. Samir, that's awesome. Got7 says, how old are you? All right. I think I just I think I just said it, right? Did I just say it? How old do y'all think I am? Comment down below. Some of y'all just how old do I look or something? I don't know. Comment down below how old you think I am. This is crazy. Exercise is a great way to escape, right? Express your feelings. I Justin, you know I agree with you, man. Yeah, NF is amazing. Also, but I still want a person to understand me. Zamir, we all want a person to understand us. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm giving all these tips. I'm giving all these tips, yet I don't do them. Woo! <laughs> hey, that's me, bro. That's me, man. Um, people ask me for help all the time, and sometimes it's easier to give advice than it is to take it yourself. So um, I, I feel you on that one. So Dante thinks I'm 23. David guessed 87. I am not 87. I'm at least 90 years old, all right? Uh, 87. Close my abusive stepdad always says, I served in the army, I can discipline you. He can't always use that excuse after. So, Chloe, please call 1 800 273 8255. 1 800 273 8255. Please call that number right now. 17, you think I'm 17? Dang. I'm 4,568 years old. Don't tell anybody. I've been here forever. Do not tell anybody. <laughs> um. 26, but looks like 35. <laughs> 22. 62. Why can't I? I am 26 years old. My birthday was in May, and so it just passed. 26 years old. Do you think people ever overcome fears or just get better at dealing with and facing them? I think people get better at dealing with and facing them. Um, you know, so... If like if you're in fear of heights, you know what I'm saying, you, maybe you continuously put yourself in a height situation and eventually it's like it's less of a fear. It might be, still be a fear, but now it won't, it won't affect you as much. So I think that people better manage their fears. Maybe they don't get over, they don't overcome them all the way, but they definitely better manage it, if that makes sense. Caught it. <laughs> I talked to my auntie Melissa about my problems and she talks to me about hers and I feel a special connection towards her and I love her so much. Yeah, man, sometimes people don't have an outlet for their depression or their mental health. They're constantly, oh, I got to charge my, oh, oh I got to charge this thing. It's about to die. Okay, I think it's charging now. Uh, so, yeah, sometimes people don't have an outlet for their mental health. So it's cool that, um, that you have someone that you can talk to about what you're going through. That's amazing. And you're being vulnerable. You're being vulnerable by doing that. So I... You know, I, I clap for you. I commend you for that. 19 people in the live stream. 19 people in the live stream. Yeah. Uh, hit that like button if you haven't already. If you enjoy this live stream, hit that subscribe button, bro. If you're really feeling the content, if you are enjoying what I'm bringing to you, if you are enjoying the advice, if you are enjoying the consistency, if you are enjoying DT Nation, hit that subscribe button. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the happy bladed birthday. Chilling, man. Dude, been in Xanax, opioid smoking, and a lot during past weeks. Out of everything that we so much cravings, want to drink and smoke, what other thing? I've been so Jesus by ourselves. Chilling, just so you know, you're not by yourself when it comes to that, okay? Um, I would personally, if I were you, I would talk to a therapist, I would talk to a counselor, I would talk to a psychologist. I'll talk to a psychiatrist. I'll talk to professionals about what you're going through and tell them exactly what you just told me. And you might be able to get the help that you really need. I've been subbed to you uh, since you have 500 subscribers. Knew you'll get bigger. Aw, thank you, man. Thank you. Wow, 500 subscribers. Uh, comment down below how many subscribers I had when you subscribed to this channel. How many, yeah, how many subscribers did I have when you subscribed to this channel? Everybody, don't forget to leave a, a, you beat me to it. Yeah, leave a like. <laughs> God says, whenever I'm embarrassed, my face always turns red, pinkish. Is there a way to avoid overcome that? No, uh, I think that's, you know, 
that could be cute to somebody. You know what I'm saying? So just be yourself. And if you get embarrassed, you turn pink. There's nothing wrong with that at all. That's who you are. It's okay. Inactive says, I hope everyone have a great rest of their day. And I'll see y'all next live stream. See ya, Inactive. Thank you for joining me in this live stream. My face also gets red, but I've learned the way to overcome it. Nice. So this is what I asked. I asked y'all to how many subscribers did I have when you hit that subscribe button for my channel. And y'all said, uh, Kevin says 1,000 to 2,000 subs if I remember correctly. Wow, that's a while. That was back there. Um, no, wait. That was last... That was January of last year. 4,000, 6,000, yeah, I was so late. You're not late. You are not late. Thank you. Let's see here. My parents just ignore I had problems and just figured I would grow out of it and figure it out on my own. 10 years later, I'm still struggling and they're still watching from the sidelines. So that means that you have to, it's not up to your parents. Like, well, it depends on how old you are, okay? Like if you're under 18 years old, but if you're over 18, you're an adult, it's not up to your parents to help you feel better. It's up to you to, for you to feel better. You got to take action to bettering your mental health by going to the meetings, by going to appointments, by calling and looking things up on Google for help for like a therapist in your area. Like it's up to you. I think you reach 100,000 subs. Just keep grinding and keep the vision. Woo! Man, bro, it's so much hard work, y'all. It's so much hard work. And I just, I just came back from a month break. Man, if I ever made it to 100,000 subscribers, I would probably do like, I, I mean, I can't even imagine that. I can't even imagine. 5K, nice. You've been here since 5K. Be yourself. See you. Love you, man. I'll see you. Have a good one. 3K, I think 4K, 4K. I started following October 2018. I can't remember, but probably subbed six, seven months ago. I'm way behind in subs. I subbed a month ago and it was the best decision ever. <laughs> That's awesome, man. I heard, um, so I appreciate every single one of you that subscribed to this channel because without you, this channel wouldn't grow. DT Nation wouldn't grow. And um, so thank you. I'm, I'm gonna keep commenting on other videos. Like I watch videos and I comment and I'm like, you know, I don't, I comment on every single video I watch. I watch YouTube all the time. So I'm like, what's up? And I think a lot of people come through those comments. So. Um, that's really cool. I'm really glad that people choose to, I don't know, click the channel name and just subscribe. That's, that's amazing. I heard ADHD was a side effect of depression. I have ADHD. There's a lot of side effects of depression. So I'm not sure if ADHD is one of them. That's why I will talk to a professional, but, um, but yeah. All right. It looks like there's no more questions. Uh, so I'll leave this room right now to ask. If you have any questions right now that you would like to ask me, uh, instead of DM DMing me on Instagram and sending me emails, you can ask me the question right now. Uh, but this this is, we're getting towards the end. Um, let me real quickly say this, these last couple things before you know, you're commenting your questions. One, are you being too nice? I am, I'll raise my hand. I'm being too nice, okay? I gotta work on it, all right? I gotta work on being too nice. I'm gonna try my best to. Two, hey, if you are being too nice, know your self-worth. You are amazing just the way you are. Don't get, don't allow somebody else to use you. You're an amazing person. You're an amazing light in this world, just being who you are. So it's okay to say no, know your self-worth, and don't let anybody else use you, okay? I mean that. You're awesome, you are amazing. You're here, you're breathing. You're amazing just the way you are. And, um, if, again, I am a depression and mindset coach. So if you are ever in a feeling of, I want my life to change, I want my perspective of life to change, I'm tired of feeling depressed and I want to take action to bettering my, bettering my managing of my life. So if you feel that way about this, send me an email at emmanueljones@outlook.com. I will send you a link where we can, you can put your own schedule and we can start sessions right away. So... Emmanuel Jones at Outlook.com. Oh, and if you want any of the DT Nation merch, the link is down in the description below. I have the hoodies, I have t-shirts, so I have coffee mugs, stickers. Um, if that's something that interests you, hit the link below in the description to get your own DT Nation merch. Uh, let's see here, last comments. I think you are too young or too old to have depression. You're not too old or too young, I agree. 
awesome live. Thanks for what you do, brother. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome, Kiki. Uh, Kevin says, I wish I knew you were in New York so I would hang out with you. It's I appreciate that. Um, my cat loves your videos too. That's awesome. <laughs> Anthony says, attractive women hate nice guys. Ladies will never love nice guys, which seems unfair, but I guess we all need to change. Uh, I disagree with that only because, hey, I know people that are nice and they got girls, so it's all perspective, I guess. Kevin says, what's your email? I'll write it down. My email is emmanueljones at outlook.com. Emmanuel is I-M-M-A-N-U-E-L-J-O-N-E-S at outlook.com. All right, guys, 45 minutes strong in this live stream. I think it's time to end the live stream. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. And I will make sure next Sunday, tune in next Sunday for more Life Coaching Sundays at 12 p.m. Eastern every single Sunday. All right. I think it's time to end the live stream. As I always say, do you stay sparklicious and keep smiling. Peace. See y'all next Sunday.